This video is brought to you by Patreon provider Able. There's no reason to sugarcoat it because if you could read a title and you're watching this video, then you know exactly what we're looking at. And the whole reason why we're able to do that is a huge thanks to my new Patreon provider, Able. Able reached out to me and said, hey, I really want to get my hands on a 1 to 6 credo and I want to send it directly to you. I said, absolutely no problem. I'm super excited because this basically concludes the 1 to 4, 1 to 8, the 2 to 10 that I'm still working on. And now this is going to fit that bill of the 1 to 6 AccuPowered now credo that I've never gotten a chance to review. So, Abel, thank you very much for making this dream a reality. Box is typical Trijicon. It is absolutely beautiful. All the information you're going to need to know is right there. This is a first focal plane scope, which I'm very curious to see how the reticle is going to look because I really enjoyed it on the one to eight, but this one to six might be a little bit small at one and maybe a little bit too big at six or not big enough. We're going to find out. But anyway, the box is typical Trijicon, absolute masterclass, beautifully made, beautifully illustrated. If I can get this top cover off because they fit them so well. And as far as packaging goes, it's as good as you're going to ever get from any sort of scope. Just take a look at this box. Need I say more? It's beautiful. What you get is a nice little neoprene cover which I don't mind those whatsoever. We have brand new, clearly, instructions, stickers, battery, and Allen key. I'm just gonna flip through this really quick because there shouldn't be any real information in here that we don't already know. Wow, look at that. So there are all of the different models that they have in different magnification ranges and all the specified features of each individual one. Very, very cool, Trijicon. Uh, the back is much more specific to the scope itself and how to operate it and what all the different parts are. They're setting your zero stop in the middle. So very good, well illustrated, easy to read, fantastic. But we're not here to look at little instruction manuals. No, 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 no. We're here to take a look at something that has the potential to be very good. I'm not talking about these bikini covers, even though it's really nice to see that Trijicon offers you not one, but two forms of glass protection. Kudos to you, Trijicon. If you're another manufacturer and you're watching this video, um, take note because it is absolutely fantastic how Trijicon does their business. Speaking of business, this is business as usual. You can clearly see starting at the back, we have a fast focus eyepiece, which has this really nice texture about it and is absolutely incredibly smooth. The tension on this right now is perfect, but I'm pretty confident that with regular use, this thing is going to loosen up a little bit, but as of right now, it is fantastic. It requires a good amount of force to move this, so you don't have to worry about accidentally bumping it out of spec, which is great considering you have the neoprene cover and you have the bikini cover if you really want to double, double security it. But we're gonna pull this all the way out, put it in about a half a turn, and there is zero wiggle to this whatsoever. The reason why I'm so excited to get my hands on one of these one to sixes is not the one to four, but rather the one to eight AccuPower that I got my hands on. The one to four, I was lukewarm about, but the one to eight, I still hold as the best one to eight I've gotten my hands on, especially for the price. At around $1,000, that thing is a absolute home run. It has really excellent turrets. It tracked very well. I had a good reticle. Everything was, it still has probably the best 1X I've ever gotten my hands on. So I'm hoping this leans more towards the 1 to 8 than it does the 1 to 4. Magnification ring has a really nice feature. You have this little cat tail, which as you can clearly see is threaded, and you have an extra hole for adjustment. So this way, if you prefer to have it on one side versus the other, you can easily swap that out. Let me get this in without cross-threading it because that's the last thing I need to do. There we go, a little bit harder than I thought. But anyway, back back at it, 1x is at 12, 6x is right around 6 o'clock, so 180 degrees of throw. Again, beautiful action, very smooth. The spawns on the outside are a little on the soft side, but you don't have to worry, you still have good traction. And you have this nice little cattail, which is, makes it an absolute breeze to change this on the fly. As for the illumination knob, this is typical Trijicon that you've seen plenty of times before. 1 through 10 with offs in between. It has a really good action. This being brand new is nice and tight again. I know this will loosen up, but for right now, this feels fantastic. 
As far as the battery compartment is concerned, you still have to get a decent purchase on this very narrow cap, which can be tricky at times. But you see we have a big spring in the middle, and we have a nice fat o-ring on that outside groove to hopefully keep all the moisture out of this beautiful battery compartment. Again, typical Trijicon. These are some of the better battery compartments I've ever seen. They hold batteries nice and secure, and you don't ever have any sort of issues as far as the illumination shutting off on you. While we're here at the bottom, there is your part number, and there is something that is beautiful. It says made in Japan. Anyway, on to the turrets, which are both clearly capped. And again, very typical Trijicon turrets. A little quiet, but the detent is very sharp, very positive. There's zero, zero play in between this, which is impressive when you consider that if you have to reset these just like previous ones, you pop this up, you could spin this around 360 degrees clearly, and it lines up fairly close. Honestly, more than close enough for me because you're going to set this and you're going to forget it, and that's just going to be the way it is. You have the exact same style knob on the windage, which is a little tight to get off. But once you pop it up, set it, and then go. Now, before we look through it real quick, just so you know, this is the 1 to 6 first focal plane green segmented circle, which is about $930 or so. They do sell an HX version, which is usually second focal plane, and they do have versions with different drop reticles. I think they have one for 308, one for 223, and illuminated dots, not segmented circles like this one. And those are a few dollars cheaper, but they're still right around $900. So for the price, these things better perform absolutely fantastic, perfect, because $1,000 is a lot of money to be spending on an optic. Anyway, let's see how this thing looks, shall we? All right, I am very congested, so if I sound funny, you know why. Tis the season for head colds, and boy did I get one with a vengeance. Right off the bat, the reticle is a little bit small and finite, just like it was with the 1 to 4. But pay attention to the power lines at the very top edge. You can see how much they warp when you get to the extreme edge, indicating a little bit of fisheye. That's to be expected with a lot of LPVOs, but for $1,000, uh, that shouldn't really be the case. Anyway, the reticle is very fine at the center, but keep in mind this is a first focal plane reticle, so as we increase the magnification, which you will see soon, that's going to change. However, just like the AccuPower 1 to 4 with the green segmented circle that I had reviewed before, the illumination on this is abysmal. At least, however, when you do increase the magnification to 6x, the reticle becomes large enough that you can easily see it. But only the reticle, not the illumination. At least the image here at about 30 yards seems pretty good. However, when we bump it past to about 400 yards, you'll note that the center is very sharp and the reticle is large enough that you can easily make it out, but the edges just seem a little bit soft. And again, with the illumination, it's just weak. I was expecting so much more from the Credo line. I was hoping that Trijicon would, would have learned from their mistakes, or at least their shortcomings, with the AccuPower 1 to 4 green segmented circle and had fixed that. But it's just nowhere near as bright as it should be, especially given the price. And that's going to be it for this unboxing. I'm going to save a lot of it for the main review, as you should all know. And, uh, well, we'll see how this thing performs then. As for right now, it's got some quirks. And for $1,000, I think that's a little bit unacceptable. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. See you again next time. And a very huge thank you to all of my Patreon providers. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. If you'd like to help support the channel but don't want to join my Patreon, I completely understand. But you can still help support by using my affiliate links in the description below. Thanks again for watching.